Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be filming a very dramatic smoky eye using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. So stay tuned. So the first product that I will be going into is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Brown uh, Brow Powder Duo. And this is how it looks from the inside. And I will be going in with the lighter shade first to start darkening in my brows. Always brush your brows upwards just to get that, that clean brow shape. And always just start right here at the very end of the brow with the lighter side and start filling it in. I personally like to first start off with a line and then whatever product is left from there, I brush upwards just to make sure my brow doesn't look too like dramatic. And as I go further into my brow, I start with the darker shade and I just trace out the bottom one. And I bring that upward just a tiny bit. So once you see the shape of the brow already forming, I like to grab my spoolie and I brush it all upward to spread out that product. And now I'm gonna brush my brow downward. And I'm gonna start halfway with my brow with the darker side of the powder. And I start from the middle of my brow and I work my way up just to make sure that the line up top is not too harsh. And I fill in all the gaps. And then I start creating my arch. And if I do need a bit on the front of my brow, I just grab a little bit of the lighter brow powder and I slowly shade it in and then I move my way upward to create that line. And with any like leftover product on the brush, I go back to the bottom and I kind of fill in the front of my brow just a little bit because you don't want it to be too harsh. And then I go back in with my spoolie and I brush everything upward and bam. So I'll be right back and I'm gonna do the other. So now that I finished with both brows, I'll be cleaning up with my P. Louise base. And this base, I clean up my brows, but I also use it as my actual base for my eyeshadow. So it doubles up for me because I used to normally conceal, like use an actual concealer. And then I used to do an actual eyeshadow primer, but this works for both. So win-win. And it's super, super good and pigmented. Any little imperfection or like discoloration, gone. So P. Louise base. So I start off from the middle of the brow and I work my way back and then I go back to the front. Get my shape and then any leftover product, I just blend it downward. And then I start blending everything downward to start priming my lid. I like to go in with a Wet n Wild synthetic brush and I start blending all that base out. Okay, so now that we have put down the base for both eyes, I will be going in with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I will be using color Feeling Myself. So without setting the lid, I'm going directly in to my crease and windshield wiper motion and circular motion and just keep going back in until you build up the intensity that you want. And I'm going little by little because I don't want it to be too hard to later blend all together with other colors. So as I'm going, I'm adding more color and I'm bringing it higher up into the eye. And all while I'm doing this in circular motion. So the next color that I will be going into is Dance Party. So I am using a more detailed brush. This is a Morphe M514 brush and it's a lot smaller um, from the bristles. And just grabbing it with the very tip, only with the tip of the brush and going in directly onto my crease. And first I'm gonna start off by patting the color in to build it up. And I'm just packing this on little by little onto the crease to make sure I get the intensity that I want. So with that same brush, I will be going in and starting to blend out slightly the outer corners to make sure I don't fully cover that orange that we first applied. And if you feel like you lose that orange, just go back in with that color and slightly add it towards the top. So now I'll be going in with a Morphe M433 brush and a dark purple from the Morphe Extremes Charles palette and I'll be going into this dark purple right here. This one right here. And to help me intensify it just a bit, I'll be using my P. Louise base 
in vivid violet with my wet and wild brush i'll just be grabbing a little tiny bit and applying it on my crease and all over my lip and just start packing it on and with another clean brush i'm just going to start blending out the edges so i'll be going in with my crease brush and it is a morphe m433 brush and slightly patting that in as you can see it has further intensified it How beautiful does that look? And adding that same purple on the outer corners of the eye and patting it on. And after you feel that everything is nice and deepened in to the intensity that you want, slightly start blending that outward. to make sure the intensity is the same all around the eye. So for my lid color, since I have uh, some leftover from the Vivid Violet and the um, actual base primer, I'll be going in with a shader brush like this, grabbing a tiny bit of that Vivid Violet and the base, and I will be going in patting motion halfway up. I'm not trying to create a cut crease. I'm just patting it in to where my crease would originally be and only going to bring it halfway and just cleaning that up. So I'll be grabbing a clean napkin, wiping down my brush and the edges, slightly blending them out. Going back in, wiping it off. Same with the edge of the outer corner. And as you see, everything starts blending out very nicely. And going back in with the purple and making sure that the color all around remains pigmented and intact. And if you want to make sure that this doesn't get too harsh, you can go back in with that same brush, clean it off, and just pat it down to make sure there's no like harsh lines or anything. So since I want to go in with two colors and make it more of like a two-toned kind of situation, I'm going to be diving into the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Bloodless Palette. And I'll be going into the color Pink Magic, which is this one right here. And with that same shader brush, I'll grab a tiny bit and start placing it towards the inner corner of my lid. And I'll only bring it halfway of that piece that I had shaded in. So I'll do the same on this side and just pack that color in. Since the base color is still a little wet and tacky, it's gonna grip on real good onto the shimmer. And like I said, I'm only bringing it halfway. So I'm dividing from this little section, I'm dividing half of it. And that's as far as I'm taking the first color. So for the second half of the look, I will be using this purple right here from the James Charles palette. Sometimes going in with your finger gives you a better application. So I'll be going in with my finger. And I'm trying to slightly blend that in with the Jeffree Star color. And as you see, they have very different finishes. I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but <laughs> I have my AirPod on, so I'm listening to music. So if y'all catch me singing, don't be amazed. <laughs> Woo! Fire. Going back in once more with that dark purple and trying to blend out those edges, make sure nothing looks harsh, everything looks nice and blended together. So now hopping onto my face, I will be going in with my Holy Grail Baby Skin by Maybelline. I'm just applying this in little dots, so three dots is enough because like a little bit of this runs a long way. And I'm just gonna be blending this out, mainly to like fill in my pores, a little bit on my forehead. So for foundation today, I will be going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which lately has been my holy 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 grill and the way i apply this is i kind of just like shake it up after taking off the cap and i just put it on dots everywhere and then start blending it out with my handy dandy beauty blender and lately i've been like really obsessed with this foundation because I just feel like it gives you like that ultimate coverage but without making your face feel like so cakey. So this is basically like the first 
round I give and then I go in only where I feel like I need more to prevent like caking up my face too much because I still go in with concealer and I still go in with like contour my contour stick so I don't want it to feel like way too much going on in the face so for concealer I will be going in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealer in shade C14 and I love the packaging to be honest like I've never seen a more extra a more extra concealer than this one so I like to clean off the tip prevent like excessive concealer coming along I like to add it here because when I'm doing the contour I clean up the bottom and it just looks a bit more sharp And I like to go a bit down my forehead to brighten up this area and down the bridge of my nose for my contour stick I will be going in with my Fenty Beauty matchstick in mocha And I just basically go on the hollows of my cheekbones down the sides of my nose to kind of like narrow out my nose And I don't have to necessarily do it on my forehead normally It would be to like make your forehead appear smaller I don't think I have a huge huge forehead But I like to do it more for like a bronzy effect because I find it when I go in with actual contour stick I don't have to go in with so much bronzer or like not heavy heavy bronzer or like powder in that case So I'll go in with my beauty blender and blend all of this out and I like to start off with my concealer first And then I kind of work my way down to my contour. And then I blend anything in the bottom out. And same with the other side, start off with the concealer. So since I don't want it to keep that very sharp edge, I like to just add little tiny dots around the areas that I know I'm going to want to blend out with an actual brush because I don't wanna uh, keep that like harsh edge. So I'll keep it this way, I'll start blending and this is a Morphe E27 brush and I bring it all the way towards the side of the nose, on the bottom of the eye, on my under eye and then just blend out those edges to make sure they stay soft and not so harsh like just like a straight line and it also helps because blending out your under eye I do have you know my wrinkle lines there so it kind of blends out that excessive concealer that's like building up there and I kind of just like put it all over my eyebrows as well just to kind of clean everything else up on the sides of my nose because that's also where you get a uh, build up so I like to do that sometimes too so for my setting powder, I will be using my Jeffree Star Cosmetics setting powder in color beige I'll bring some out and I'll place it on my lid and I'll use whatever is on the lid. So I like to go in right before I apply my setting powder and blend that area out and do the ugliest faces to apply it. So I always start off first with the bottom of the eye because it's my personal area to be more prone to creasing. And then I go on my smile lines and with whatever's left on the actual beauty blender, I kind of just go over my cheeks and a bit on my chin. And then is when I go in with a little extra. So I let that bake. And then whatever's left, I normally go into my forehead. I don't really tend to use like a lot, a lot of product on my forehead. That's what I kind of realized. So for my bronzer, I will be going in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics. It's literally my favorite bronzer. And I'm using my Japonesque brush. And then I start with my cheekbones to add a bit of color. Then I move on to my forehead, just slightly a little bit, just to give it some bronzy effect and then a bit on my chin to kind of like create that disappearing effect of the double chin you know all this quarantine food is um quarantine snacks or you know backtracking me on a couple a couple pounds you know my uh summer body is postponed till 2021 just letting y'all know for contour i will be using my contour kit by anastasia beverly hills and i'll be using the middle shade here i think this is like the medium contour yeah medium to tan and my brush is that ben the brush that comes in the Benefit Cosmetic Bronzer, the Hula Bronzer. Add a little and I kind of tap it out and I go straight into the hollows of my cheekbone. And I have the essential make it look like, you know, I haven't been snacking all day. Going in with a slightly bit of that same contour color with a clean brush. And I will be going on the sides of my nose, bringing it all the way up okay, towards the brow starting on the side creating that hollow and then bringing that down so since i already contoured i will be going back in and cleaning 
that contour up. I like to bring it all the way towards like the tip of my mouth where like my lips divide. And then I will add on the sides of my nose and bring that outward. And now I'm gonna start with the lower um, under eye. So the first color that I will be going in back to is that Feeling Myself, which is the first orange color from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette that we went into. And I'm gonna bring this just a little extra lower than the usual, because we're gonna go in exactly with the same colors that we first went in with on the eye. And I'm gonna bring this all the way out to kind of like round it out with the actual shadow and just keep intensifying that up. And then I'll be going in with another brush and I'm going in with Dance Party right over the Feeling Myself. And this I am bringing it all the way out and kind of going towards where that um, dance party was originally at, bringing it all the way in. For my waterline, I will be going in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner in shade Voodoo. And what I'm basically doing is I'm kind of bringing it downward a bit so I could blend that out and use that as like help to like further emphasize the purple. I'm going in with a really defined shader brush and this is a Morphe M326 brush and I'm going back in with that dark purple from the James Charles palette X Morphe and placing that all over the under eye and I'll be using that same dark purple with that same shader brush to intensify the lash line a tiny bit just to smoke it out and now I'll just be cleaning out the extra setting powder I will be setting my face with my favorite Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and my handy dandy little fan. Feels so good. And it also kind of gets rid of like that very powdery finish. So for lashes, I will be going in with Colored Rain Lashes in style CR032. They're like really dramatic and full. For the lips, I will be going in with my ColourPop lip liner in color chai and the lipstick is Dose of Colors in color glazed. I'll start off with the lip liner and it's kind of messed up so it's like all fully out. And now with the lipstick, I just like to dab a tiny bit just to kind of, kind of like cancel out that color of my lips. And bam. For my highlight, I will be going in with my Jaclyn Hill X Becca Cosmetic. And I'll be using these two and just mixing them together. For blush, I will be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics blush in Winter Kissed. And applying it on the apples of my cheeks a little intensely. Because normally blush is like the first thing to always fade away from your face. And voila. So for the last step, I am going to add Wet Jewel from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodlust Palette and just apply that in the inner tear duct, packing it on to make it as intense as possible. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes today's look. I hope you guys really enjoy it. If you guys have any recommendations of any looks that you guys might want me to create or any color combinations that you guys want me to try and come up with the style of shadow feel free to comment down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also follow me on all my social media platforms i'll leave my instagrams down below my makeup one and my personal one as well so i will see you guys on the next one bye guys